Hi everyone, welcome to another video tutorial. This one is going to be on enums. I just made a simple Xcode project. And again, this video is going to focus on the power of enums and all the things you can do in enums because it's pretty cool. So an enum in Swift or an enum in general is usually used to represent the state of some object. And usually you use enums when the state of an object can only be a few a few things maybe like less than 20 it could be greater than 20 but it's when maybe you want to represent something as say the number of seasons in uh, fall winter spring fall fall winter spring summer and to do that we'd simply use the enum keyword and we could and we call enum seasons and then we'd have to we make our cases or our states for the season so we'd simply use the case keyword and then I could say fall case winter case spring case summer it doesn't have to be uppercased either the enum or the cases and then we could simply create a new create a variable called season and I could set it to a seasons dot seasons dot fall and then I could do switch and then I could check for the state of my enum by doing a switch which is going to check the what state the enum is in and then it's going to do something according, evaluate according to that state. So in my switch statement, I'm going to check for the cases of the season. So I'm going to check for dot fall. Let's me do it this way. I'm going to check for dot winter. I need a colon case dot spring case dot summer. Okay. So. In each of these, I can print out uh, this is fall. Is winter. This is spring. You get the picture. And then when I run this program, then this is fall this is fall will get printed out because it looked at the cases and said okay fall is being run i'm going to do that and note that in my case statement i can use instead of doing seasons dot fall i can just do dot fall because it recognizes the season variable is of type is of the enum season so you can just use dot and then the case type so dot fall dot winter dot spring Okay, another thing you can do is you can associate values with enums. So for instance, if I wanted to associate a value with fall saying it was the first month, I could simply say my enum is of type int by doing a colon and the type I want. And then I could do winter and say that's the second month, give it a one and summer say it's that's the last month if I wanted to start my months at fall. And what this does, what this allows you to do is that now each enum has an associated value with it. So it has a state and, a, and an associated value. So something I could also do, for instance, is I could print out the season dot raw value. And so the raw value is the value you associated with that enum, and I associated it with zero, so it printed out this is fall zero. And so actually I could just put this up top here, because it will print out no matter what, season dot raw, raw value, and then we'll change this to winter, and we can run it again. And we get one because I said it. I said winter equal to the raw value of one. And you can make the type it's associated with anything in Swift. You can make it your own class, so I can make it a string. I could make it a whole class, another class if I wanted to. But usually, you probably want to stick to integers and strings. Okay. So something else you can do, which is pretty interesting, is that you can associate. You can carry more variables. You can carry different sets of variables with each state. So let's say I wanted, this is pretty interesting, I wanted to associate fall with a string type. And so that my fall case carries a string with it. 
And let's say I want to do have my integer, my winter class carry an integer with it, and my spring class carry a double with it, and we'll have summer carry a string again. So now each case has a different type associated with it, which is really interesting. It doesn't have a raw value anymore. So I'll make sure to get rid of that right here. And so this allows for some pretty interesting scenarios here. As you can see, I get an error. Enum case fall not uh, fall not found in type int. So what I need to do here now is I need when I declare a winter when I declare an enum here in seasons, I can actually give dot winter, I can give it an integer because I associated winter, the case winter, it's gonna now store an integer. And it can be the integer could be anything I want. So now when I when I have my case integer, I can do let num and that is going to allow me to access that number inside the switch statement so it's going to allow me to access the value i set the integer value i set for winter inside the winter case statement and i can just print it out right also just so we're clear on this we can do this we can do this for fall i can then do um, str I need to do let str so because it's a constant and I can't change it and I can print out str as well. And then when I go to make another season enum, I can then set my string and I can make it high. So that so fall carries a different variable type, it carries a string, winter carries a number in case I needed to, and also I can make the enum types carry multiple variables. So I can get an under string, I can do a comma, and then I can do comma, and we can do float. And so now, whenever I declare fall, I need to give it a string and a float. And so now I can pass this state on, and I can do let string equals num, and I can let float equal float, and I can print str, and I can print float out. So now each state I can now differentiate the states by quite a few measures. I can differentiate by just state type dot fall dot winter dot spring, or I can I can also differentiate it by the variable type. So I can look at it. I can look at the string and the float within that enum type, and then make decisions using if statements. You can also use another keyword which you don't see that much called the where clause in Swift. And what you could do is you could then compare these cases. So now I have a case dot fall where float is greater than 30. So this case statement, this decision structure will only be executed if float is greater than 30. And so if float is less than 30, nothing, this statement will not get printed. And because of that, I then have a new bug, which is switch must be exhaustive considering adding a default case because I have not, the compiler knows, the computer knows, Swift knows that I have not added a case where you can have fall, but float can be less than 30. So then I can add a default and say print default. So this will handle the case where float is less than 30, which is pretty cool. Okay. Well, guys, that's all I have for enums. As you can see, there's a lot of power in them to know to use the dot syntax or whatever. You can also use the dot syntax when declaring them right there. But now I have Actually, no, when you declare them, you do need the dot seasons dot because the winter could be in the same enum. That's it, guys. Have a great day and tell me how you like this tutorial. It's been a while. I now move to Austin, Texas. Hi, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click right here to see more videos about basic high school, college, computer science concepts. Click down here if you want to see my latest videos on app development, iOS, Mac, and Swift. Have a great day!